Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Dying Light. Probably you're asking why is he standing on the freaking tower instead of over there. Unfortunately the recording did not start properly, um, but uh, you did not miss much. I went from over there, or uh, no, I think somewhere over there I think. Uh, yeah, on top of the, the tower uh, I called in the GRE and told them that I'm going to meet up with the, the leader of the, yeah, of the guys of the tower here. And that's it. So, and now I'm on to... Really? You can't jump from there to there? Okay, yeah, whatever. We're uh, going to meet Mr. Brecken now. Okay. But I did. I stayed in a safe zone. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Yeah. That's uh, more or less the same stuff that I told the GRE. Oh. The guy is still looking out of the window. Oh, there's a... Exclamation mark. Can I take a question for Good you? job out there, 31. Uh, I mean, Crane, right? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. That's it. Things are bad. Very bad. Ah, I can trade with you, man. Ah, okay. A claw hammer would be 1400. A French wrench? So... What limited time offer? So, sell all valuables? Um... The water pipe... Do I need Molotovs? I don't really think so. So this is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's better to just hit twice and keep my stamina up. Than just hit once and, uh, yeah. I have to wait five seconds until I can kill the second zombie. So, I don't know what... Can I buy this? No, just... Ah! Requested item is the thing that he needs. So as soon as I find toxic... What is it? Lichen? Lichen? You know, this one here. Um, I can give that for a specific amount. Okay. So... Let's go to Brecken. Crane. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters and then Ryze's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake, you can't even walk straight. We need you alive, you idiot. Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right, yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. <laughs> Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. 
Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Okay. Doc, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Laura tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. I mean, the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. But Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. Okay. Oh my god. Mother's Day. Ah, oh, okay, I can... OT to track. Contact the GRAE, okay. But there are some uh, exclamation marks. I'm going for them first. There it is again. Bayer, is that you? What's going on here? What's going on here? <laughs> Bayer's locked himself in the room. We could hear him screaming. He may have turned. You hear that? I can't get this lock. You want to try it? Oh, of course. I'm the pick master. Good night, Mr. Bahir. Okay. A lock picking easy, okay. It's up to you now. Here we go. Oh, he's good. But here, you in here? Help me. What? Where are you, mister? Oh, there we go. Tell me what's wrong. I can't move. My chest feels like it's going to explode. Are you turning? No, no. I took antizin and the pain started. Ugh. The vial is on the floor. It wasn't antizin, I think. What you took is junk. What? It's fake. Where did you get this from, Bahir? Please, I need a doctor. First, tell me who sold you that. I can't, I promised. This guy is very useful. He brings me things from the outside. Yeah, like phony antizin? People <laughs> can be giving this to their kids. You want them to go through this? No, God, no. Then tell me who sold it to you. Yusuf. Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. He lives on the roof. Okay, I'll get Dr. Lena. Oh, please. Okay. Hurry. Take the fake and send to Lena. What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. I thought he was turning. We should still keep an eye on him. If he needs a so, doctor. So, let's go to Lena first now. Doctor. Finish the mission. Oh, she's even further down. Ah, there we go. Ah, sick bay, okay. Lena! I need to talk to you. You better have a look at this. The lot number's wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on 21 took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to 21, now. Where did he get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner the better. Don't hurt him. Just talk to him. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see. 
I doubt it's just talking. No, this is not Yusuf. This is our wannabe leader boss thingy. I forgot his name. Ah, is he completely on the roof? On the roof roof? I thought he's somewhere here, but it looks like he is. Even for- What the fuck? I can't jump there? Seriously? I mean, he is Superman and can jump like one kilometers. He can't make it over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh no, he's there now. There he is. Yusuf? Welcome to Yusuf's Emporium. If it's hard to find, you need to find Yusuf. Whatever your needs, Yusuf has it all. Yeah, I'm looking for Antizen. Well, of course you are. My friend, this is your most lucky day. No, Yusuf, it's your lucky day. Because I'm going to give you a chance to come clean and tell me where you got that counterfeit junk you sold to Bahir. Bahir. Look at his arms. Bahir, you say? Do I know this, Bahir? He nearly died from that phony antizen you sold him. Phony? Are you sure? You're saying it's no good. I just bought ten vials from those guys. I paid good money. Which guys? Well, that's kind of a sensitive issue. Which guys, Yusuf? I'm running out of patience. There's a building next to the drugstore. A couple of survivors live there. I don't know how many. I've never been inside. They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Bento. All right, now you're going to burn the rest of those vials. But they cost me a lot of money. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. Okay. So, yeah, let's go downstairs again. Check the drugstore. Can I change the missions on the fly? Uh, yeah. I forgot to... Request, yeah, I can do this. Okay. Is there a map, by the way? Yes. Track objective. Um, it's shown. It isn't even shown on the map now. That's weird. He knows on the mini map, but not on the big map. Uh huh. So, uh, let's see. Can we, can I talk to someone else? Yes. There's another guy. Davut. Look, I've got to get out of here. I need to get my wife and kids somewhere safe. You know, it seems to me this is about the only safe place there is. <laughs> Safest place in the slums, maybe, but the slums aren't safe. It's no place for my family, and I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? I can't tell you the details, but. I need to get across town, and I can't do it without a gun. If you'll get me one, I'll tell you about a place that hasn't been looted yet. I promise you won't regret it. Well, how do you know this place hasn't been looted? Because there's only one person that has access to this place. And you're looking at him. Bring me a gun, and the key is yours. As well as everything you find there. Okay. So, let's go downstairs. Yeah, but I want, don't want to track this thing, I want to go with the... Uh, there we go. 
is the one I want to do. So I have to go out here, so we have to use the elevator. There we go. Oh, he's not talking to me. Was this symbol on the mini map? Ah, oh, okay, yeah. That's obvious. Oh, there's a bed as well. I feel like there's nothing outside. And the shop. Yeah, I've got a special deal for you. Do you? So I can sell this. That's it for now. Can't sleep now. Okay. Things are bad. Very bad. Oh. oh, it's getting dark already. Check the drugstore. Is there a normal cycle day and night, or is it just? Go ahead. We found two more vials of that fake antazin. Reckon it's boiling mad. Yeah, I'll bet. How's Bahir? He's stable. But if we'd gotten to him ten minutes later, he wouldn't be. This stuff is lethal, Crane. Putting them out of business is your number one priority. I'd understood. Do have to hit this guy? No. Are you trying to dance or something? That's for sure. What can I do for you, my friend? Uh, is this Bento? Is here? <laughs> oh, really? This time I did not even use spacebar. Yeah, I hear you're selling Antizen. Who told you that? A little bird? Yes. Oh, just the same person who told me you've been cooking up garbage and putting it in fake vials? Garbage? My formula is 50 times better than that crap they drop in boxes. Not only does it keep you healthy, it gives you super strength, incredible speed, and laser eyes. I could burn you with one look if I wanted to. I'm shutting you down, Bento. Yeah. Yusuf said you'd try to make trouble. Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. And you're fucking dead. We've got a visitor. Whoa. Um. Get them. Use your powers. Kill. That was pretty easy. There's the one on the roof is left. There we go. New safe zone unlocked. Yay! You can tell Brecken that counterfeit lab's out of business. Good work, Crane. That's a big relief. Are you alright? I'm fine, but Yusuf tipped him off that I was coming. I was afraid of that. Brecken was going to lock him up, but he'd already slipped out. Now, if he comes back, I'm gonna have a word with him. Not if Bahir gets to him first. Oh, really? That's it? Oh, I 
Is there something special around? Yes. A blueprint. Pocket lighter. So behind the house there's some more material. Looks like it's outside or something. I think it's underneath me, huh? Check the GRE. I'm hit, I just see that my life is at 37. I really like the, the thing that you can smash the ads completely. So I need to go on top of this here. Hello? Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. Look for the airdrop and the cauldron area. And I have again unskilled skill points. Oh. So now I can decide for the very first turn. Learn how to use space in your backpack more efficiently. Gain four new sled slots, okay. No, four slots are way more efficient. At least, that's what I think. What does a different color mean? This... I have no idea. So, but they're pretty low on damage, so I can dismantle them. Yes. Yes. And oh, 37 is pretty good. Well, I can dismantle this one then. So, let's take a look at the weapons. Law hammer. So there's a selling point somewhere here. And why is it blue? <laughs> oh, sorry guys. 
I tried to avoid this. This is why I stopped for some seconds, but I wasn't able to. <laughs> yeah, everything's still for sale. Just be quiet, okay? Short, simple knife. Power cable limited offer. So it is over there somewhere. Sometimes I'm having really bad FPS and sometimes I don't. I have no idea why. I hope you don't mind as I don't, because yeah, I still like playing the game even though it's if it's lagging once in a while, or it's not lagging, it's a FPS dropping. It's getting dark again, right? Hello, ladies. Oh, Crane, three quarters of all airdrops fall in the cauldron. So if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. On my way. There's a red area over there. Activate light trap. And what just happened? Can someone explain why I did this? Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. Dead yet. Hell. Do you have to run around here or some something? I don't know.
And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Oh, yeah, I had to find it. I can't jump there really. There there's a there's an edge where I could usually grab it. You're dead now. Now you are. So, a little bit further. Fucking hell. Hope I don't end up like this poor bastard. Is this the thing here? Yes. What's in there? Nothing. Right. Nothing here. Oh, there's another one. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Yeah, but this is something for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.